What is dating like for you in general? Is it hard? Well, I used to hate it. I never had a boyfriend for so long. And then I started dating someone that I really like. I dated this guy that I was talking before. He was so nice because he would like be okay with me in the industry. Like I would go from a scene just getting fucked and real. And I'll go home and he would give me love and cook for me. And it was so nice until it wasn't. As, I think all relationship with us, they all accepting at the beginning until they really fall in love. And then they and actually think that you're cheating with them because you're having sex and 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 a scene. And I remember one of my biggest problems is like I would come from set because I detached so much from my videos. And he'll be like, oh, what do you do today? And generally in my heart, I didn't do anything. Like I just don't go home and bring my work home. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like I'm not thinking about what I did or mm -hmm. how the way that I sucked the dick. I just, as soon as I finished, they say, cut. Um, that that I just did just completely... Yeah, time. disassociate. Disassociate, like I'm not going to go home. I'm like, oh, I fuck this and I did that. So he would get mad because he was like, you just came from having sex with two guys. How do you don't remember? I'm like, I do remember, but I'm not thinking about it, you know? And I think it becomes a problem. The Did you think that he thought you were playing it down or like lying to him because you thought that he would be insecure. upset? Mm -hmm. I think that they think that. And then the truth is, I used to tell them, I'm like, I would say I'm not cheating on you. And he was like, baby, you have sex with another guy. But I would tell them that's no cheating. Cheating is emotional. It's mm -hmm. cheating for me because we do this industry. It's like going to dinner with them, going to a movie theater with them, cuddling a bear after sex. That's for me cheating. Mm -hmm. So I guess they, they would not understand that because they're not in the industry. So I think that's one of my biggest problems. And I really try today. And my last boyfriend, I, I really was so loyal to him. I've never been that loyal to anyone. Like to the point that like talking about no texting, no calling anyone other than my job. Mm -hmm. And and everything was amazing until the same it wasn't. You know, like he at the beginning he loved my videos and then and he would get mad. Like I would have I would go do a scene and I was working less because of him. I stopped shooting only fan guys because of him. Mm -hmm. and because I genuinely didn't want to. It's not mm -hmm. that I did it to please him, it's because I just didn't want to be with anybody else. Mm -hmm. But I still would need to work, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would go do my movies and then he wouldn't want to have sex with me for like 10 days. Like not like he was disgusting about him, but it was more like, I think mentally, mm -hmm. he just didn't want to have that. But we did have a good relationship. We go to dinners, we would sleep together. So I let it go, but but it, it is hard. And I feel like if I ever have a relationship, and I always say I would never date anyone in the industry, I think I might try be with someone in the industry. Maybe they would understand. Yeah. You know, and someone that helped me grow more as my career. Because every time that I'm dating with someone that is not in the industry, I think like they bring you down because mm -hmm. they don't understand. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, th everything that you do is wrong. Yeah. And I'm like, I wish you only knew that it's not like them. Yeah. But you got upset and they literally think that you're fucking everybody. You're fucking the Kramer crew, the light guy. They think they're fucking everybody. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. No. <laughs> I mean, there's some girls that do. Have you seen the gaffers <laughs> that we work with? <laughs> or the camera guys? Like... But, but you know what it is? It's like there's always one or two girls. They ruin it for all of us, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. what happens, you know what I mean? And they think that everybody's the same way. And I mean, also not to mention the fact that, like, you're really not allowed to. I mean, I've no. always had a policy that, like, my crew cannot sleep with the models. But, like, I know browsers especially is, like, double down on that. Oh, super. We're not, like, yeah. nothing. I don't even cross over, like, one little joke, you know what I mean? But yeah. but these people still do stuff they're not supposed to. And once again, those people are not meant to be in this industry. Yeah. The people that are very talented and very professional, you will never see them doing all that stuff. You know, yeah. like, oh, the big, big stars, you never out here, they're doing all that stuff. It's always like the new girl that's trying to, like, show up or mm -hmm. or do all of these things or think I'm at home or trying to propitiate the part that make us a sex stars. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to do all of that. Yeah. But, or try thinking that it'll get them ahead if they yeah, and, like, and they, do And some of them things. they do because I know many people that make it fast enough in the industry because they fuck everybody. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it becomes the same thing that if you do stuff at the bottom, it's only going to last you this long. You know yeah. what I mean? They're going to use you, fuck you. Yeah, you become a name and then you're nobody. Yeah. Because you have all of this trash after yeah. you, you know? 